The Northern Gateway Pipeline, the Trans-Canada Coastal Gas Link Project and the Giscombe Quarry. The list of proposed projects in the Claydley Tenay's traditional territory goes on and on. The First Nation isn't letting the business opportunity pass it by. It's inked a deal with Britco and it could mean big bucks for both sides. For the past year, the Claydley Tenay has been at the table with Britco. They've been in talks to provide mobile buildings for projects coming to Northern BC and now both sides have signed on the dotted line. Definitely, it's right at the doorstep of Quayley Tanay and uh, you know, it's basically up there for the taking. Britco builds work camps, mobile homes and construction site trailers. The First Nation signed a memorandum of understanding that would see its share in the company's revenues. It's one of the first of its kind in that everything that Britco does in the traditional territory will be uh, revenue shared with the First Nation. The understanding includes more than sharing in the profits. It'll, it'll benefit us through, um, through uh, jobs and um, um, training and um, you know, in, it'll, it'll also help Britco in terms of uh, getting to know our partners and, and, and sharing uh, you know, information in the, with, with uh, the different proponents that we do have. The company wouldn't reveal how much revenue the Claytley Tenay stands to gain. However, it did say typical construction industry profit margins range between 3 and 15 percent of revenue. 10 percent of our workforce in British Columbia is Aboriginal. There will be opportunities in everything from transportation, in everything from management, uh, construction, on-site construction, off-site construction. There will be some trade uh, uh, and skills training opportunities as well. And I think with uh, some of the industry that's uh, being proposed for the traditional territory, those would be the, definitely the spin-offs to try to capitalize on some of those opportunities. The Claytley Tenay's traditional territory spans 4.3 million hectares across northern BC. With plans for major projects across the region, the First Nation plans to be ready to capitalize on the boom. Kelly Lanahan, CKPG News.